All right. What are we in for this time? Close that door. Is it all quiet? No, usually every time I spawn in, there's like 25 crimson heads that want to kill me. But today, I think we're relatively safe. So I just finished moving all of my stuff. I went over the entire manor and I collected every item that I have and I put it all into this storage box over here. So we're centrally located at this specific box. And I'm going to bring with me pretty much strictly combat gear, I think. I think that's probably going to have to do it right there. And we're going to head over to the... Uh, it was like the sewer cap that led down into some sort of a chute. Oh, and there's one more thing I have to check on. These are empty pots where the herbs grow, and we really need herbs. And um, I, I recently walked by a plant pot that said it was growing, so I need to go investigate that further if I could ever <laughs> find my way out of here. All right, should be right over here. Yes, these herbs are growing, so... I think they've been growing for like a long time. I'll have to come back and check on them again later on. That's pretty much our only hope right now because I have zero first aid. We have zero green herb, no herbs at all really to do healing with. So this is going to be it. Oh, oh, I closed that door because there's a hunter in there. <laughs> I don't want to wake him up either. Leave him in there. Okay, we are going into, remember this room right here that had all the gas valves. We had to shut everything off. Okay, I get very suspicious when I see any little inconsistency. Like, what is that? Is it a secret? <laughs> I have no idea. Yes, this is where we're heading though, right here. So I'm gonna roll with shotgun primary. <sighs> okay, well, here goes nothing. We're fully loaded, we're ready to go. Let's just jump in here and see what we're in for. Whoop. Okay, nothing. Good, because I didn't want to jump down here and get into a big fight. I want to be able to prepare for it a little bit more. Okay, well, this is just a, a regular ladder. Feeling a little bit better about this here. Oh! What the heck was that? Huh. Okay, of course, of course, there's something down here. Hang on, it's a hunter? Yes! Alright, we've gotta at least. Ooh. They spit! I forgot about that part. Oh. Another one here. I'm just gonna. Oh, we're supposed to be doing it the other way. We, we weaken them with the knife and then we shoot them with the gun. Alright. Trying to get my feet under me a little bit here. All right, some ammo in the back, shotgun ammo. That is ideal. Only six rounds, but take everything I can get. These are not searchable here. This is suspicious, but um, is nothing, I guess. And in the back here, we have some kerosene. I used some kerosene to make um, Molotovs the other day. Okay, that's three hits killed Big Mama. What about Lumberjack here? Two, three, he's dead. One, two, and then gun. Nope, trying to go for those decapitations. Didn't get one on any of these guys, which means they will be back. Okay, Hunter at the end of the hall. Whoop, who was that? Snakes. Oh no, I've been poisoned. No, no, okay. I didn't bring any poison remedy with me. Crap. Oh no, no, no. Okay, so I'm gonna be draining health a little bit for a while until we can get some herbs. There are some herbs down there. Is that a red herb? I need a blue herb. Okay. Sneak attack on him. He's gonna spit. He's gonna spit. Just stand behind the the, the great shelf here. The, the wire shelf. And just finish him off. Alright. Oh, we do have blue herb here. That is perfect. With red herb. And I'm out of, I, I'm out of room for stuff here. I didn't bring uh, much room because I was preparing for combat, but um, this will be curing poison and restoring some health. Gotta take it. I don't want to just bleed health here, and I'll hang on to the red herb. Door here is jammed. Okay, so that door is opened elsewhere. Just check the wall for buttons, for any sort of secret thing here. No, got nothing. We're heading into the water then. Kerosene, kerosene. Okay, button. And that opened up a door. Was it... It was this door. It unlocked this door. Oh! Wait a minute. We're, we're, we're back in the underground kitchen. Right, this door here has been locked for ages, or jammed. And there's the elevator. The elevator is open now. Oh my. And it goes up. Okay. So, that's kind of cool. From here then, I'm going to go sort out the inventory a little bit. I was preparing for a boss battle, but um, I think we're just on the exploration path more or less again, so 
Let me go stash the stuff. I'll meet you back over there. Okay, hopefully I don't come to regret the things that I stashed away, but you can't carry everything around with you. There's definitely a crimson head that's kind of like... Oh. Very nearby. Like, potentially right on the other side of this door. Oh. No, I don't know where they are. I can hear... Oh! They are right there. Okay. The block looks like it's broken. It's got that little bit of degradation there, but I'm pretty sure they cannot break through. Whoa! Oh, God! Peter Griffin, you scared the daylights out of me, man. Okay. We've got to go for... Dismemberments. No, we can't get it. The journal told me that if I knifed him first and then shot him, that that would work. It has not been working reliably, though. One, two, three. Okay, that one worked. Reminds me of that old Tootsie Pop commercial. You remember that one? Where the owl is uh, trying to figure out how many licks it gets to the, the center of the Tootsie Pop? One, two, three, three. Okay, what do we got here? A couple of zombies? Oh, it's me! That's the me zombie. <laughs> Hello there, GNS. Probably should just be Temeriki, less of a mouthful. Three, and he's dead. One, two, and... Oh, didn't get it on that one. Where the heck am I right now? There's a battery bank over there. Oh, herbs, green herb. Perfect. We need a lot more of those, though. For some reason, um, something to do with, like, the Grace monster that I fought last time. Whoa, no, 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 oh. Beyond the door! This is impossible! Where do I go? Where do I hide? No, I can't get out! I am very short on first aid. Oh, the battery! Right, that goes to a door out in the courtyard area over there. Oh, geez. Back and forth and back and forth again. What are we doing over here, though? Oh, a button? Activate switch. That's unlocked already. Anybody in there, though? I don't think so. This is a little bit of a stash room here. The emblem key? Okay. I've definitely seen that before. Shotgun ammo. Handgun. Oh, sorry. Magnum ammo. Nice. First time I found some of that. Okay, we have a jammed door at the back. That switch unlocked it. Okay, interesting setup there. And oh. Oh, we're back. To the main room here, we do have some kind of a sleeper. I don't know what this is here, why these hunters kind of came out of nowhere one day, but here they are. Don't use the grenade. I don't think these guys come back as um, Crimson Heads. At least I don't think I've seen one yet, so don't have to worry so much about those guys. Oh, but I walked right by that red herb there. Grab that. Yeah, the emblem key. Okay, gotta remember where the emblem key took me. I don't quite know. I do know where the battery is going to take me, though. Let me just search around a little bit and see if I can find the emblem key door, though. It's this one here, isn't it? Yep. Okay, and this is probably just a small room. Yeah. Okay, nothing crazy going on here. Metal object. Oh, that could be the crest that we kind of just, um, we saw the door that that might open. Shotgun ammo. Okay, the emblem key that we just obtained should be for... Oh no, it's a different emblem. Oh, my bad. Okay, so in that case, I think... What was this one? Just some kind of a silver key. Right, I think from here, we need to go to the other side of the compound over there and unlock that metal door that required the battery. Here we go, unpowered. And we're good. I... Oh, this is a safe room. Okay, that door is unlocked. Oh, Ooh, medical supplies. Could that be first aid spray? Hang on. What? Oh, just pick it up. There we go. <laughs> Knife not required, I guess. We have... Uh, this is going to be empty. Yep, good. And cash register. Okay, so just a mini little safe house room over here. A little forward operating base. I like that. Door. Locked. That probably has a button or something that would unlock it. So the only way left to go is this way. Whoa! Whoa! Jumped me there, buddy. Another one! Okay. That's not gonna help very much here. <laughs> Bring them up the ladder. They'll open that door eventually. There they are. Good opportunity for some headshots, I think, I hope. Whoop. I got- I think I got teleported. W where am I? Take care of that one guy. 
Oh my god, you're a fast mover, aren't you? There we go. <laughs> I don't know, this magic ladder over here just shot me straight up to the top. Okay, so that's... I feel like the enemies are much more difficult, and yet... Like, my offensive capabilities are still atrociously bad. And... This door is unlocked. Basement door. Hunter in the back. No, he's, I was going to say, maybe we can try the explosives. I just don't know that that's a great idea. In fact, I'm going to do it, though, because we're about to have a situation where these guys are going to be kind of stacked up. Oh, man, I can't really see. Whoa! No, 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 no. Okay. I threw a grenade. I thought that was a contact grenade, honestly. That did not work at all, though. Okay, here. Perfect. Bring them up to this gate where I can... That was supposed to last a little bit longer. Oh my god, sitting on half health now. Would you just give it up, man? Holy crap, gonna need some first aid before I go much further, I think. Yeah, I'll head back and get some. All right, we're back at the basement room here. I did mix myself up some mixed green, red, and blue herb, which will be 800 health over 10 seconds. Uh, 1,080 if you have medical knowledge. Makes me kind of think I should have taken that as a skill early on. I can't even remember what skills I took. There is some handgun ammo here, but I had to put away the pistol because we were down to 16 rounds. So we've got the shotgun back out and we are continuing to explore this underground dugout. Oh yes, some green herb in the back, lovely. Some kerosene here and one more. I can make myself a, this is locked here, a, uh, another Molotov there, which I haven't even tried that out yet. The reason I haven't carried the Molotovs with me is because you have to have the lighter to light the Molotovs. So it's two inventory slots for something that could ultimately just kill myself. Unlocked door in the back here. It's the only way I can go, I think. Who's back here? One of you guys? Oh man. Ah, crap. These guys are very janky with their running. Holy crap, man. Every time I face one of those guys, there's just, I don't know. I don't know, they're, they're tough. They're a tough opponent, put it that way. Nowhere to hide around here, really. <laughs> and you can't jump. Okay, we have an AK-47 muzzle break there, which is kind of weird. And uh, take the nitrate off the corpses. I did do some ammo crafting. Switch there. That went to the roll-up door that was over by the, um, the big storage container we were just at. But on the ammo manufacturing front, we can't make very much gunpowder. That's the biggest limiting factor. And the reason being is because we don't have any coal. I have seen coal before, and I've harvested it up everywhere I can, but it's just not enough. You need so much gunpowder. It's like, it's something ridiculous, like 250 gunpowder per bullet. So it's just not happening right now, unless I can find a coal node or... Right, where, where did... Oh, the roll-up door was right here. My bad, I kind of walked right through that. Right, so we're off to another door. Oh, uh, jeez. Very tight quarters. Oh! Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to go back here. I, I'm trying to force it a little bit, but um, I probably would just get stuck. So we're going to the left here. More kerosene. Let's just instantly turn that into a Molotov. And oh my goodness, it's a spider web room with a jammed door with a switch, which means that has got to be a boss battle back there. And the battle will be on. Oh my God, the AK is right there. Wait a minute. Give me that. I'm gonna have to probably go back and, and prepare for this battle here. Let's just, we'll stash some stuff here in the forward operating chest and I'll go retrieve the rest of our supplies. Okay, I'm back. I have a full combat loadout here. Let's um, at least get this out and start things off with this as I imagine. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh my God, he's huge. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna roll with some of these guns that we don't have a lot of ammo for. Good opportunity to get rid of some of it, if anything. He's moving real slow, though. Oh, I think that's a feature of the Molotov. It slows them down. Oh, is that the case? That would be so perfect. The Black Tiger Spider. Is he dead? He's not dead yet. Just, there we go. Oh, boy. Have I been sleeping on the Molotovs or what? He was totally locked up. He could not move whatsoever. Okay. I'm dying, though. I don't exactly know why. Ah, uh, just classic. Where's my base, by the way? Okay, okay. So we've got the Black Tiger loot here, but um, I can't 
currently uh, pick it up because I don't have any inventory spots. And <laughs> currently I also can't get through the other door there. So, oh, that requires, I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, it's probably whatever's in this bag here. Yes, it is the WD-40 spray. Oh, the, yeah, the, the door's just all rusted up. Right, it's rusted. You gotta unrust it with some oil there. WD-40 is just like a lubricant oil. And, oh, perfect. Right over here, we've got a blue herb. Infection cured. Also, oh, button. That would have opened up my back door over here again so that I can go back to my stuff. There we go. All right, man, we are doing great today. Sniper volume seven there. So there's definitely a fire trap around here somewhere. This is gonna be for high power 762. I don't know what I'm missing in, in the ammo crafting front there because there's just no way I'm gonna be able to make like, whoa, 30 rounds of 762 or anything like that. One down and don't waste the ammo if you can avoid it. There we go. Unlocked door. Oh. What kind of a maze is this? I think it's just that. It's some kind of a maze. Is anything happening when I'm interacting with these doors? I don't think so. Oh. There is a button on this one over here. Uh, I feel like this is a puzzle. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I was just... I gave up for a second and I went around that corner there and I found myself another wheel, so... One step closer to the gyrocopter, I think. Oh, hold on a second, though. This button over here is doing three doors, and that one over there is doing two doors. I thought they were doing the same thing. All right, all right. There's a solution here. Hang on a second. Aha! I got it! <laughs> oh, look who's the smart one now. Ooh, helmet key. I know exactly where that goes, and... Another one. Oh, th all this for that. I suppose that's how it goes. All right, so I, I do think that we're done here unless there's something that destroys all those stones. Remember all the, the rocks over here? I don't know if that's a way that we're supposed to go or like maybe, maybe we're going to get um, a pickaxe at some point and we'll pick our way through there. I'm not sure. We got to go topside though and figure out what those keys went to. Okay, I think the first spot that I, I recognize that key from is this door right here that finally opens up the main foyer room. We've searched everything in this area. What's going on in here though? We do have one lumberjack zombie. I'll see if I can, nope. Can't sneak up on him. And honestly, I'm not too keen on using shotgun shells to try to dismember people at this point. Got a crawler back there? Crippled Draco. Alrighty. Thanks for plugging up the doorway there a little bit. Appreciate that. Got the decapitation on the one. Every shotgun shell counts though. Trevor's diary here. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought this room that I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Okay, unlocked. Couple of zombies back there. Oh, that looks kind of like an artsy type of room. Wake up, Peter. Oh! Someone was in the closet, though. Oh, some of these guys are kind of fast movers here. Let's just use the guns a little bit. Got the decapitation on him. We're gonna try and get one on this guy as well. One, two, and miss. <laughs> Great. I Does that count? I think that kind of counts. That's like... That's very, very dead. Okay, art gallery of sorts. Okay, cylinder up top there. I have no idea what that is. We'll investigate at some point. And some herbs over here, nice. I was I was panicked there, because <laughs> when we started out today, we had no herbs, nothing. And there was no way for us to heal. But that has turned around pretty quickly. Right, we do, okay, so the cylinder we picked up is used to craft the cylinder shaft. And this will power the generator in the mine. Okay, so we are going back inside the mine at some point, it seems. It looks like the cylinder belongs inside the hole of the shaft. Oh my, <laughs> okay, get away from that stuff. All right, still looking for the painting though, that's the next clue that we had. I don't know, man, I've been pretty, d oh. It's this room behind the paintings of this room, isn't it? I've, wait a minute. I just destroyed that tarp there. I got kind of excited there for a second. No, is this, 
I can destroy that this whole time. I've been able to destroy that. Oh my god. Okay, so... Is there anything back here? I, presumably one of these paintings is what the Trevor was talking about in his journal there. Okay, nice. One hit kill there. And some handgun ammo, which I am having trouble carrying right now. Get rid of the paper, I guess. I know paper can be used for shotgun shell manufacturing, but I'll probably just make slugs instead if I don't have the paper. Alright, take apart these paintings and see if we can find something. <laughs> There's a door, a whole door behind that painting there, which is locked. The closet key! I have that key! Here we go. Unlocked. What's waiting back here? Oh, it's it's like a legit closet. Maybe there's some gear in here? Military goods? That is... Some military grade gear you found in a secret closet. A bulletproof vest for protection, a bandolier for efficient reloading, a suppressor to increase critical hit rate. Okay, the, the vest will mitigate 27% damage. The bandolier reduces reload time by 40% and no longer suffer mobility penalty when you're re reloading. Handgun suppressor here does not increase damage, will quadruple your critical hit chance. So that would be helpful for preventing Crimson Head spawning. I'm kind of thinking bulletproof vest, like I'm taking a lot of damage here. First aid seems to have been the biggest problem for me. Let's craft the bulletproof vest and um, live to regret that decision someday, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, we can modify that too. Oh, co cosmetic slot. I don't think that's important. Okay. So we, um, we, we still are missing hands and face. I'm the invisible man, basically. But um, <laughs> I do have a vest now, which is nice. Is there anything else in here that I need? I don't think so. I'll, I'll try. No. Try to break that stuff down. No, it's not going to work. Okay, so now we have one more key, and I got to go get it. This one here, the helmet key. That's the only key that I have. Well, I have some other things here, but I haven't seen the doors for them. There's got to be a door around here somewhere, though, that's going to take that helmet key. I've just got to track it down, um, except we've, we've got multiple crimson heads that are running around right now. Nope. Trying to go for those decapitations. Didn't get one on any of these guys, which means they will be back. Oh, <laughs> I found them. They are definitely in the elevator room area. Luckily, they seem to be quite confused. Whoop, <laughs> another one. Jeez, they're popping out from nowhere. Yep, it's the same three. Could you please shoot him in the head? He's right there, point blank style. Oh, what the, what the tactical dodge there. Ah, I found the door, okay. One zombie, and there's some sp stuff in here. Two zombies. Not, not not a massive threat here, but just be careful. I've already taken quite a beating today. No, I tried to get the decapitation there. It did not work. This is the red gemstone. Whoops. Oh, where did you come from? You got a biker? Are you the guy that I've been hearing? Well, he's dead now anyway. I think it was. It's all quiet now. We also have... Mail to the chief of security. What the heck was that? All right, this letter here is from the Umbrella Headquarters, to the Chief of Security on July 22nd, 1998. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Then it says, collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as samples. Excluding the tyrant, dispose of the tyrant. Honestly, I have no idea what to do now. The red gemstone recipes, jewelry box. Combine that with a locked jewelry box which I haven't seen yet. I also have an emblem and I have a disc and I haven't seen any other doors that need to be unlocked. Metal object, red gemstone, cylinder, and MO disc. Somehow with that combination of items, plus perhaps something that's still out there in the world to find. Oh, by the way, I, I just discovered I can take radiators and we could probably smelt them. We don't need brass though, we need coal for gunpowder. Right, so with some, some combination of the items that we have, we have to unlock some door somewhere. I just probably have to backtrack until I find that door oh have a look at this here oh by the way i can hear a whole bunch of crimson heads but um uh, there was this tool tip here for ammo crafting which i i i don't know when i got that but um day three i guess but anyway it says that coal can be obtained by burnt trees which are outside everywhere nitrate i've got plenty of nitrate lead lead ore outside amongst the trees and zombies okay so we can actually go outside and do some resource harvesting 
and brass from the radiators, which I just discovered on my own. Okay, so perhaps we can get into some extensive ammo crafting. It'll just take a little bit of farming to do so. In terms of unlocking doors and such, I am in a rough spot. I think probably it's the cylinder. The cylinder and the shaft or something, uh, you know, to make, make, make a shaft. I don't know what it is. But uh, anyway, we need that to open up a door that's down in the mine. I just have to find the cylinder somewhere to do that. And otherwise, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, um, geez, I don't know if I should go back into the mine then and see if I can find the shaft down there. Oh my God, there it, oh, geez, the shaft is right there this whole time. I just was double checking down here and yes, I did miss it. I think I was focused more on the ground and where the herb was over there. Okay, so with the shaft now and the cylinder, cylinder shaft here we go and this is the key to this right here so there we go unlocked and um okay what's the best way to do this let, let me over here there we go all right what are we dealing with down here a spiral staircase we can definitely use that to our advantage oh it's a safe room okay well i think it's a safe room let's just double check maybe make sure the area is clear here some kerosene down here and is is that oh there's a button over here oh but i can't press the button okay so just a fake button there is that it what what utility does this place have here okay just a, a storage box in case we need it i'm all set oh there's a door over here though okay that probably is going to answer the question of what these buttons go to all right, just sneak down, see what we're getting into here. Whoop, more of these guys. Okay, and knife. Are you made out of metal? It's Lisa, Lisa Trevor. We were just reading about Lisa a second ago. Lisa Trevor's, I don't know, girlfriend or some relationship to Trevor, I do know that. Okay, oh, oh I can't jump, I forgot about that part, okay. You go down, I go up, and here, I'm gonna drop that grenade for you right there, and we'll hope for the best. Come on, perfect shot there. Just not quite good enough. Oh, good thing you're a very slow mover. Do not want to get stuck back there. Oh, re reload faster, man. Oh, I'm stuck over here now. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, this is, this is rough. I can't do any damage. I think we've got to go get Molotovs or something and come back here. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, ow. Okay, and on the way over, first aid spray. All right, where did we leave off here? Okay, here, here she is. Let's just, um, whoop. Oh, watch out for that little lip there. That could be disastrous. Let's try that. Yep. I can hear her cooking. Let her burn. I will string her through the entire mansion like this if I have to. Okay, this one is not slowing down. Maybe that was just a one-time thing here. One more for that door there. Because remember the last guy we fought, he was moving really, really slow when he was on fire. Lisa, did you go back downstairs? You're being weird now. Here, we got one more Molotov. And then, um, I don't know, we're gonna go over to melee while we're at it, I guess. No, there's just, there's gotta be some special way to win this fight here. And I just haven't seen it yet. There's, this is not working. Traditional means are not effective. We've gotta find the secret that will allow us to kill Lisa Trevor. And um, I'm gonna have to probably head back. Here, I'm gonna close every door behind me and I'm gonna head back. Can I close these? Nope. I'm gonna head back down to where Lisa came from. There may be a secret down there on how to defeat her. All right, this is the tunnel where Lisa was hiding and... Uh, oh, geez. What's the deal down here? Jammed door. Switch. Still jammed. That must have gone to something, though. Uh, we got some herbs back here. Some more kerosene, which will just immediately go into a cocktail. We have a locked ammo chest. Gotta get the lock pick, of course, okay? And I think that was it for this place. Ah! Whoa, dude, no, Lisa's back! Oh my god! Oh, button! So hit the button! Um, is it is it is there a combination of buttons? Nope, that button down there we can't hit yet. So Lisa Lisa just teleported right back to where we started this all from. Oh man! Oh okay. Um, I, I thought, jeez, I don't know where to go from here. Do I go back upstairs? All right, all right, all right. Get get Lisa out of there. I think I've got to go back upstairs or something. I don't. 
I don't really know here. Lisa, you stay there. I'm gonna zip right on through here. And, um, geez, I don't know what to do now. Can I close that door? I don't think that'll help me. Maybe it'll buy me a little bit of time to hunt around. Maybe I gotta go back and get my lockpick? No, because that was, I think that was just an ammo chest, like with ammo crafting material in it. I don't have any other option though. I guess I gotta go get my lockpick and figure it out. All right, into my safe room and, geez. Um, we'll take the lockpick, but um, it's, there's gotta be something in the journal here to figure out how to kill uh, Lisa, right, George Trevor, Trevor's Diary, kind of throwing me off with the two first names thing, uh, right here. One name came to mind, Jessica, right, because he found Jessica's shoe down in the eerie caves down there. Not sure, maybe, maybe we just don't kill her, I guess. All right, well, I am gonna cut it off right here. Next time, we are going to go back to Lisa Trevor. We're gonna confront her and see if we can take her down or at least trap her somewhere where she's less of a threat to us. We'll open up that chest and we'll see where we can go from there. But anyway, my friends, thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.